guys. As you can see behind me, the bar is dead. There's nobody to be seen anywhere. Okay, I tried, I gave them a best shot. Is this the end? Who knows? No, I'm messing with you guys. Um, okay, so I was just joining you up there. Um, it's been three months since we started the bar, and I thought uh, I'd give you a run how we've been going. Um, there's a lot been happening, and we've had some um, we've had some challenging times, but um, so far we're going okay. Um, it is low season now, and we sort of can't sit down and not do anything because, you know, you could you could get caught out, and um, you know we're no different from anybody else if we don't sort of get stuck into it, and make sure we work hard and do the right thing. You know, we're vulnerable. So um, anyway, so today's video I'm just going to show you what we've been through over the last three months. And um, before we go any further, if you like my channel, um, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give the thumbs up, and leave me a comment, and um, you're doing me a big favour. Like, the more subscribers I get, I actually earn a little bit of money from this, and um, it helps out. Every bit helps. Um, yeah, so just um, stick with me, and I'll show you what we've been through in the last three months. It's been trying times, but we've had some good times as well, so, and the bar's going well, and we get plenty of um, subscribers come and see me, which is, it's really, really good, so thanks heaps for that. Devastating news. <clears throat> I've got a lot of damage. Um, the bone and all the ligaments are all damaged and I need an operation or I'll limp and um, be in pain for the rest of my life. So really, Ying, the lady that's been looking after me since I um, hurt my leg, is only with me until the 24th now. Wow, how things can change. I come to um, Patea to YouTube and then I was going to travel on and move on and go from there but due to breaking my leg not be able to walk and not be able to make YouTube videos and stuff um, that's how the bar come about that's how Ying come about actually so um, yeah just a coincidence but it's crazy how things can happen okay so from that moment we we're on the hunt for a bar we checked out um, bars in the clure up the other end of Patia um, soy 7 and soy 8 and um, Boon Kanchana and then we come to Rompo Market and uh, here we found a bar that I thought would be a good project. And the whole thing started from that. Okay guys, it's all happening pretty fast here. We've just um, done a deal to um, rent a bar in Thailand. So this bar wasn't our first choice or my first choice. I had a look at another bar which I preferred at the time but then when I looked into it needed so much work and it was just going to be an absolute money pit so that's when I had a look at other bars and I, I spotted this one and um, I thought this is the one for us so within no time I paid a deposit and got the thing underway we got our workers and um, we started ripping into the bar we tore the place apart everything on this bar needed work you know but um, it had good bones so I thought I could really make something of it I pitched it something like it turned out to be so yeah all good so the next thing we had to deal with we had to get all our licenses and that sorted as well as get our bar up and ready to run within five days the uh, landlord gave us a five day grace where we uh, could work on the bar but after that we had to start paying rent so we ripped into it and um, got stuck into the bar and um, it was a big job but um, we gave it our best crack and um, as you'll see it turned out pretty good So the first thing we had to do was strip off all the rattan, it was a horrible mess and we, we had to get this bar done in a hurry or we were going to be paying rent for a bar that's not earning any money. So we got that stripped down and um, we got the painting under, underway, we had to get the roof stripped off and um, sorted, get that repainted and get that done ready for everything, ready for the fit out. So it was a big rush to sort of get that done, done but these guys were flying, doing a great job. Then I decided to utilise the shelves, the wooden shelves that are inside the bar, paint them black. 
I had an idea about making a light wall behind the, the bottles rather than you know just the traditional mirrors so I got that underway and the, the bar was flying along the guys were doing a great job So then there was the matter of the fit out, so it was time to go out and buy fans and all the stuff we required, the, um, you name it, glasses and the fridges and the, you name it, everything that we needed to get the bar set up, including buying a pool table and what have you. So that was a pretty big job and um, it was pretty intense, we never stopped and um, always looking on the internet for stuff and yes, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty full on but um, we got that done as well. G'day guys. I think the last video I made about doing the bar was sort of day three, day four. Okay, so it's about day eight or nine now. Um, I haven't been able to make any videos because I spent a lot of time in hospital for bits and pieces getting ready for my big operation. The bar's come along unreal, so um, the, the build was pretty much finished, uh, say, two days ago. So it took about seven days to, to do the whole thing. And now we're just finishing off with final touches. So I'll give you a look at the bar. Okay. Okay, so our bar was now finished. I'd just gotten out of hospital um, having my leg operated on and it was time to get things underway. Now, I think it was about the 12th of January. So we had our pool table coming on the 15th and we had a party booked for the 18th as an opening party. So it was all pretty full on and um, uh, yeah, a lot of fun to try and do on one leg. But um, we got through it. Today's our big day, we're having a party, or a bit of an opening party, so um, it doesn't start for a couple of hours yet, but it's um, looking pretty good so far, we've got some pretty good customers, and um, bar's going good, girls had a great night last night. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, so it's time for our opening night, so we didn't know what to expect, Ying didn't know what to expect, um, we just hoped that it'd go good, and as it turned out, it was, it was great, we had heaps of people turned up, everybody had an absolute ball, um, our helpers, we had some temporary staff, everybody done a great job, and we had a fantastic night, we were well on our way to starting up a really cool little bar in Rompo Market. So current day, low season, 18th of May, 2023, yesterday. Um, well this is what you can see what you can see. Unfortunately I had a camera malfunction, I had a fogged up camera. I don't know how that happened but um, there's not much I can do about it, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the bar, we've got plenty of customers, we get plenty, plenty of people coming to eat and um, just enjoy the bar, sit around, hang around, have a few drinks, play pool or come in for a feed and um, we also get a stack of people coming to see me from my YouTube channel which I'm really grateful for and uh, we get some mad characters like this lady, Tomato Head I call her. Say hello, guys. Say hello. You want to say hello? What's your name? Hello. Star family? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Peach. <laughs> His name's Pissy. No, I'm not Pissy. Pissy. Ah, that's good. You having a good time at my family's bar? Yeah. Super. Yeah, good. Tell me later what you think of the, your food. It's really nice. I had it earlier. So, guys, just to wrap it up, um, the bar's been running for three months, as I said earlier. Um, you know, we, we, we went off, to, we got off to a flying start with the party and then we just had so many customers and um, it was the end of high season so we were going well, like we were really, really going well. We had so many customers come in, customers come in and um, like just hanging out at our bar for somewhere to hang out and um, that was really, really good. Now the high season went off um, 
and the customers dropped. Um, there's a lot of Russians over here at the moment and they're not spending any money and they don't hang out at bars and stuff, but um, we still get our fair share of the customers, believe it, believe it or not. And like, um, we, we're usually quite busy. We do have scary, scary um, quiet days, but most of the time, most days we have, you know, a good number of customers come through and uh, heaps of support from our YouTube followers. Like, people are putting us on their bucket list. They come to Batea and um, if they're an Aussie, they want to come to Palmy's Bar. So that's fantastic. Like, I'm just blown away by that. Um, I had two people say that to me yesterday. Um, it was on their bucket list of um, things to do while they're in Patea. So, look, I, I can't even imagine why you do that, come to my bar. But um, anyway, look, we're really, really happy and grateful that they do. And... Um, the bar's going according to plan now. Um, if it goes my way, and Ying and I work really, really hard towards this bar, and if it goes to plan, it's going to be a boom, booming come the, the high season next, um, well, the end of the year. So, um, fingers crossed that goes well. And um, just remember, guys, if you are in Patek, pop in and pay me a visit. Now, if I'm not at the bar, see Ying, and I'm never usually too far, far away, and um, you know, I don't mind jumping on the bike and, you know, for a five minute ride down to the bar and saying g'day. So just remember that. If I'm not at the bar, yeah, tell Ying and she'll give me a bell and um, and I can probably be down there as long as I'm not in the middle of, you know, editing a video that I can't sort of get away from or something like that. Um, and I can usually be there pretty, pretty soon. So thanks for the support, guys. Really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you so much.